In this video, I'm going to show you some of the most common video editing mistakes that new editors make day in and day out. And these are some that I'm definitely guilty of myself and I wish I could have avoided these. So hope by you watching this video until the end, you are going to be able to not make some of these mistakes. Without any further ado, my name is Vince and let's jump right into it. So mistake number one is overusing transitions and effects. And I know this is so easy to get into because you feel like you are creating something so amazing and unique right by adding all these different transitions that your editing software allows you to do and adding all these like cool effects lens flares and so on but you don't want to overdo effects sometimes less is more and a prime example of this is one of my first videos that I could find that I created just check out this masterpiece ah oh. I think that pretty much sums it up. Just don't overuse transitions and effects. Just because you can put it there, it doesn't always mean that you should. As a rule of thumb, only add transitions and effects to your video when it actually adds something to it and it doesn't distract from the whole message and uh, the viewing experience. All right, editing mistake number two is ignoring the medium. You need to keep in mind what you are actually making the video for. Is it going to be uploaded to YouTube? Is it going to be, you know, shown in theaters? Is it going to be on Instagram reels and TikTok, right? You want to make sure that you are editing the video for the right medium because people don't consume all content the same way. You are consuming like TikToks and Instagram reels very differently than a long form YouTube video. So you want to make sure that your aspect ratio and your editing style in general is fitted to the medium that you are making the video for. For example, if you're creating like short form content, you probably want it to be like super fast paced, a lot of transitions, sound effects, all that stuff. But if it's like a longer documentary video, you don't want to, you know, make it in that same style. So keep in mind the platform you are creating the video for. Mistake number three is going too hard on color grading and again a lot of times less is more sometimes you can feel like you know you are creating something like incredible looking really when you watch it back like a few months after you're like oh my god was I on psychedelics or what the hell was going on with my color grade right sometimes it's so easy to just make your color grading or color correcting even just way too strong too much contrast too much colors so as a general like tip that I can give you whenever you created your edit and you color graded your footage you know take an hour off go do some other stuff try to get away from screens for an hour watch your video back one more time before you would hit export and upload it to social media and a lot of times you're going to notice that when you come back to your computer you know your color grade was way too strong and this is because your eyes get used to it as you are editing so it's easy to go a bit overboard and make your color grading too intense you know get off the computer for a bit and then come back and make sure that your colors are not not too strong. Mistake number four is too strong background music. This is pretty self-explanatory. I'm sure you have listened to a lot of videos where you're trying to understand what the person is saying, but the background music is just so damn loud that you can barely understand them. That's super annoying. So just make sure that you keep your background music very quiet. So it is background music, not like main music. And as a rule of thumb, I like to keep my background music usually between minus 26 and minus 30 decibels. Now that might not work for every single song but most of the time that range kind of works out well for me editing mistake number five is inconsistent audio levels now again this is something I'm sure you have experienced as a viewer where you are watching a YouTube video for example and then there is like a cut in or there is like just some random clip that is pasted there and the audio is just blasting your ears off right and this is something that's very unpleasant so to avoid that before you would export your project make sure to check the audio levels and make sure that they all line up make sure they are pretty like consistent throughout the whole video obviously if you're trying to create like a dramatic like effect somewhere uh where the audio is quieter for a bit or it's a little bit louder that's fine but make sure you don't e-rape your viewers. Mistake number six is poor planning or not planning out your video at all. A lot of times you see YouTube videos or just videos in general that just feel a little bit all over the place. And that is because as an editor, it's your job to, you know, condense the raw footage down into something that's more easily digestible, but you need to still keep the storyline. And if there is not a storyline in your video and there is no sort of like structure to it, it can be really hard to watch it as a viewer. Like a lot of times, when I see people who make vlogs for example it just seems like it's all over the place like it's just random clips pasted together and you just added a little bit of cool color grading to it and some music but that alone doesn't make a good video you need to kind of plan for it you need to make sure that there is some thought put behind why you are doing things in a certain order so 
that is a quick tip before you would even get into editing just make sure you have some sort of a plan for your video make sure you have a story that you are trying to get across even if it's super simple and last but not least mistake number seven that almost all editors have made at some point is not re-watching your footage before you would upload it now i know by the time that you get to the end of your edit you're probably sick and tired of watching it because you have seen the same clips over and over again so long it's super important that you give it just one more last you know thorough watch before you would click that export button because a lot of times you see people who uh, maybe took out an SD card before exporting and then so they have that media offline red screen on their computer or you know just little slip ups so to avoid those being in your final edit you want to give your video just one last watch before you would export it a good way to do it is to watch it at a higher speed so for example in Adobe Premiere Pro you can press L on your keyboard to speed up your playback speed you can watch it at like 1.5 playback or even 2x playback so there are not going to be any accidents left in the video i hope these tips were helpful for you if they were and you want to learn even more about content creation video editing creating cool thumbnails and growing a youtube channel then go ahead and check out my master class in the description below called magnetic editing it is my private community we have over 100 training videos in the program we do bi-weekly group calls with the members where you can literally submit your own videos and your own footage to me and I'm going to give you feedback on it personally to make sure that you improve your editing and your content creation game as soon as possible. So if you're interested in that, go ahead, click the link, check it out. I'm looking forward to see you in the community potentially in there. And other than that, check out more of the videos on the channel. If you wanna see more content similar to this, give it a subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.